question number 19 photodiode operates at forward bias breakdown region reverse bias saturation region this question is simple if you understand the concept of photodiode with my analogy I'll explain you in a very simple way so that you can answer any question on photodiode operation okay I'll give an analogy by which you will easily understand fine now let us see what happens if a photodiode operates in forward bias reverse bias breakdown and saturation region before going to that I just want to tell you what is photodiode and what it does actually so photodiode symbol I'll tell you photodiode is similar to normal diode okay but except that we'll be showing some arrows on the head of the diode indicating that these arrows are nothing but light which means this is same p type this is n type which means when light falls on this diode when light falls normal light okay when light falls on this diode this diode will give electrons this diode will give electrons these electrons are this together all these electrons together will constitute nothing but current this current I'll call it as photo current photo means current due to light okay so the light the light is generating the electrons from the diode this is the operation of photodiode now what happens when this photodiode connects in forward bias reverse bias breakdown or saturation let us see that okay now I'll explain with the help of an analogy so before going to that let me explain you with an analogy so it's like there is a person to this person I am giving some work okay suppose if this person this person can be in the four states okay this person can be in the four states suppose this person is sleeping assume that this person is sleeping then what I'll do I'll throw some bucket of water I'll throw some bucket of water on him and I'll wake up and I'll make him to work so what is he can be sleeping he is in uh, coma okay so that he'll never wake up okay so coma is a condition where there is no chance that no chance of wake up no chance to wake up chances are very less okay he may wake up but there are very less chances and he is already working working uh, normal work he is doing some normal work okay he is working already he is working at its max at his maximum efficiency see these are the four conditions why I am telling these conditions will help you to understand easily so what he is doing is assume a person who is sleeping he may be sleeping assume he is in coma other condition different ways okay assume he is he may be in uh, working normal working state just like eight hours working or something like that assume that he is in the eight hours working state next case I am assuming that a person is working with some out of 24 hours he is working all 24 hours he is maximum working state okay this is maximum okay you cannot okay so these are the four different type of situations I am taking now what I am doing is myself I am making myself assume this is me okay what I am doing is I am giving some work to this fellow then how he will behave in different situations let us see so in the first situation suppose if this fellow is sleeping then what I can do is I can give some I can pour some bucket of water on him and I'll wake up I'll wake this fellow so that he'll get up and finally I'll make him to do my work okay my work he will do fine that is done next second task second situation assume that this fellow is in coma now what I'll do again I'll try to pour a bucket of water will he get up no again I'll pour some again one bucket of water no even though if you pour some ocean of water he is not going to get up because he is in coma so is your work done no my work is incomplete my work is incomplete my work is not complete so only my work is completed in first case yes I'll indicate with some green mark yes my work is done in first case if he is sleeping I'll make him to get up I'll make him to do the work second case if he is in coma I cannot make him to wake up and my work is incomplete so a second case is a failure case second case is a failure case let us see the third case okay he is working he is working normally eight hours work he is doing if I give some work 
he will do that work my work is actually very less it will take hardly 30 minutes to do it's like some doing some content work or something so my work is very very less he can finish off hardly in 30 minutes okay in third case eight after finishing this eight hours of his normal job he will think of whether to do this my work or not even assume that he has done my work assume he has done okay he has done my work but what happens is assume that he has done my work okay i'm happy but what happens is if i say all the situation to somebody that he has done eight hours of his work and 30 minutes of my work then everybody will not notice my work he'll they'll everybody will say like he has not done your work he has done eight hours of his personal work means he is not efficient to you so he has done work but he, this case is not efficient to you this is not efficient because the work is unnoticeable here the work is done but it is unnoticeable fine Th last case assume that the person is doing work 24 hours he is doing his own personal work he is busy with his uh, girlfriend or whatever he is completely busy with 24 hours okay at this time if i give some one minute work also this fellow will shout and yell at me i'm busy in my own social media i cannot do so he'll yell at me and he will never do the work the work is not done if the person is in coma if he is working normally if he is working at maximum efficiency this is not done if only if the person is sleeping properly and i can get make him to get up then i can do my work properly my work will be done only in the first case so I'll explain you what are all this in the help of forward bias and reverse bias. So in forward bias, it is like a person with eight hours work. So he will do my work, but it goes unnoticeable in the sense I'll relate this to uh, photodiode. What happens is when you give voltage of five volts assume, then what happens? The current will flow in this circuit okay then the current the diode will operate as normal pn junction diode it is doing its own work it is doing its own personal work okay now what is my work is nothing but my work is like i'm applying some light on it so that i'll get more extra current that is the extra work that is my work i'm standing here okay so i'm standing here myself what i'm doing is i'm throwing some light on this diode that is the only work that is a 30 minutes work what i was telling you right that is the only work means i'm throwing some light i'm expecting that few more electrons from this diode but this diode will give this diode will give say some uh, uh, 10 electrons initially due to this forward bias it will give some thousand electrons due to forward bias it is giving thousand electrons normally when light falls on it it is giving 10 electrons but this 10 electrons when compared to thousand it goes unnoticeable Hence, that's the reason my uh, even though if light falls on the diode, I'll get only few electrons because the diode is already busy in forward bias condition, forward bias situation of, of the circuit. It's already busy. It is giving current. So this 10 electron, this is normal current. This is photo current. So photo current is negligible when compared to original current. Hence, you cannot use a photodiode in forward bias because it goes unnoticeable. Nobody will recognize. So it goes unnoticeable. You cannot use. Next, when it comes to reverse bias, reverse bias condition is like a person sleeping, not in coma. He is simply sleeping condition. Okay. So what happens is the current is almost zero in the circuit ideally because in a reverse bias condition diode offers infinite resistance the current is almost zero it's just like all electrons are sleeping happily now what happens i'll give some i'll throw some bucket of water on them so it's just like throwing light on them when as soon as i throw some light on them they'll break the covalent bonds they'll break the covalent bonds and they'll eject out and they'll go to the work so once again i'm repeating whenever the diode is under reverse bias all the electrons will be sleeping it's like current is zero then i'll pour some water on them it's like uh, uh, throwing some light on them so what happens all those electrons when, whenever they are exposed to the light 
they break the coval covalent bonds and they'll come out they constitute the current so the photo current will be present and it will be very very high because normal current will be zero almost their personal work they'll not do they'll do completely photo current work hence that's the reason we'll use photodiode in reverse bias you can read the statement in reverse bias the reverse current is independent of reverse voltage even though if you give 10 volts the current will be zero initially and reverse resistance will be maximum infinite in ideal case i already told now if the light is incident on the diode it will increase the number of carriers breaking the covalent bond so the current increases now you can see that voltage is same as same but the current is increased means increased so for same voltage the current previously was zero now current is increased to photo current photo current is resulted so current is increased means voltage remains constant and current is increased which indicates the resistance is decreased from the previous value so when you read the statement for forward bias in forward bias you can see the forward resistance is zero almost and there are pl plenty number of carriers and holes which can cross the junction it is nothing but they are doing the personal work but carriers which are generated due to incident light are insignificant means whatever the work i give they go insignificant they are unnoticed compared to the these carriers compared to this uh, original personal work so they go unnoticed and hence presence of light cannot be detected i hope you understood and rf almost remains unchanged because the current is due to original one the rf doesn't change because current is same almost same voltage is same current is same nothing has changed current is little bit increased but that goes unnoticed hence it cannot be used in forward bias but it can be used in reverse bias so uh, let us see the options forward bias is like it's like eight hours doing work plus i gave some work this goes unnoticed so this is not useful reverse bias is like they are in sleeping i'll throw some water on them so that they'll break their covalent bonds and they'll come out and they'll do my work this is efficient so the right answer is reverse bias whereas in breakdown they are in coma okay they are in th even though if i give lots of water they cannot come out and the current is zero they cannot eject out they cannot come out whereas in saturation they are doing uh, work of work for 24 hours so if, if i give some extra work they cannot work in this case also current is zero so the right choice is option c reverse bias